uh, I hope you all are okay. If this is going to be recorded, this uh, meeting is recorded. No, sorry, this uh, work. Yes, fine, fine. Yeah, it will be fine. It will be fine. I think if you can, if you can share that video, uh, audio, I think later on we can use it for if we forget anything or such things for that. Yeah, it can always it be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, all everything we cannot remember, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It will be great, ma'am, if you take part. Great. So uh, let's get started. So this video is going to be now uploaded on the Plantsor uh, uh, website as well as on the YouTube channel. So you, whenever you all need access, you all can always you know access it over there. We will be doing more workshops. This is like our first test run to understand uh, what are the needs of everybody because uh, considering it's a large group, everybody has different climatic conditions. Everybody has different requirements like placement now. For instance, in this group itself, we have uh, you know three members who have different areas of growth. And uh, considering our group is mainly to do with succulents, uh, what happens is many of us invest a lot of money in buying succulents, but post that how to care for them. Because when we see them in the nurseries, they are doing very well. But what happens when we bring them home? What is the potting mix? The potting mix you buy in you know your stores or you buy it online, they don't help. Now the reason why they don't help is because most of the potting mixes that you get in India are for nurseries. They are not actually for the Indian household. They are mainly based for people who are running nurseries, and based on what their climatic conditions and their environment they are creating, that's how they are able to say that this is the best potting mix. Now, after years, I have been in the gardening, uh, you know, industry for like nearly 10 to 15 years, and I also come from a background of farming. So my, uh, you know, family and all that they come from that background. So I've had like plants around me all throughout and over years I've come to realize that uh, gardening is not only about the plant and the weather, it's also about where you keep your plants. Okay, and sometimes it is not as important to have a shade net as it is important to have, you know, the bigger plants to protect your plants from, you know, uh, pests and other things. So I'll go about with it in small, you know, details, starting with the potting mix. So. I hope you all can see the table. So, so now this is one of the succulents that I have. I just happened to pluck it out because it was overgrown. And if you all can see, okay, the succulent has, you know, these tiny roots over here. So it's very important that we have at least these minimal roots on the succulents. And if you see, we have even tiny babies over here for the succulent. So these all can be planted into another pot and you can get multiple different uh, succulents out of this. And most of us who have multiple plants will not have time to really take out all these leaves. So what happens is they automatically give shade to your, you know, babies, which are the puppies that they have called or the pups of the succulent. Now, in this case, I have kept uh, two types of pots. One is our normal ceramic pots with a proper uh, aeration over here. The aeration is very important for succulent planting, especially because uh, succulents thrive far. See, there are two types now. Before I get into the other type of pots, so I will show, explain to you two different aspects. One is you have cactuses and then you have succulents. Now, cactus is a variety which is mainly found in deserts. There are some varieties of succulents that are found in de deserts, but succulents need water to survive. Cactus, on the other hand, can go through drought periods and they can survive without the water for long interims. That is the reason why they have the thorns and they have very fleshy interiors. While the exteriors do not have any pores on it, but if you see your succulent closely, uh, for instance, I'll show you these. If you can see the stems on such, you will see that they have a lot of porous they have got porous so they have some amount of breathing that takes place because of which there is evaporation that has happens through the plant now even with your appearance of these this size what happens is you will have to have water given to them because not once these start drying up they can't store their water anywhere because they are stored in parts unlike in a uh, cactus 
for these reasons there are two different types of potting mixes one is your for your cactuses which you will need where it is a particular uh, you know uh, soil any soil rather could do for a cactus as long as it is well drained so coming back to the well draining i have the normal nursery pot sorry it's a little dirty but these are the normal nursery pots and this is one of the mediums that i use to keep the you know drainage holes from clogging up so this is a normal husk which you get around the place if you go towards any uh, village areas or something or you can online also order them you get the husk and it can be used as a place you know you just need a little bit of this to go ahead and put at this pot of half four and a half inch and i of sand and i add it now i see if you see this i feel like this is a little too much because i'm going to be adding uh you know perlite as well as some cinder so i will remove it so i think i've just taken a handful if you see to that pot so 7 inch pot you just take a handful of sand this is if you are going to be using all the ingredients that i have just suggested if you are not then for a 7 inch pot half a pot of 4 inch or 3/4 inch 3/4 uh, pot of um uh, you know 4 inch is perfect and you again will just take a handful for this of cow dung this is more than enough because again uh, our succulents do not need too much of fertilizer because whatever we give it to them will be something that they go ahead and uh, you know keep storing in their leaves again the same thing goes for cinder i just have about a handful of it and just a word of caution when you're using cinder please try to use gloves because they are sharp especially when you break them they are very sharp and they can cut your hand so ensure that you are using uh, you know a glove or you when you are using them they are very uh, you are being careful that's it so now the holes also i will show you i have holes of this size so what happens is for the succulents it becomes too much and becomes too much of aeration for the succulents so it is better to break the uh, holes into smaller bits and then use them 